welcome students today's topic is apple malus domestica bark the main objectives of today's lecture are to discuss the origin and biology of apple to discuss the cultivation of apple to discuss various diseases of apple and to give a brief description of some commercially successful apple cultivars cultivated apple that is malus domestica bark is economically the most important temperate fruit crop of the world in general and india in particular cultivation of apple seems to have practiced by greeks and romans and as a result of their travel and invasion the apple cultivation has spread to europe and asia at global level more than 7500 cultivars of apple are known of which only 20 to 30 cultivars which represent 0.2 to 0.3 percent are commercially successful these are either chance seedlings hybrids or bud mutations an apple cultivar is thus either a hybrid or a support and does not propagate true to seed it must be propagated asexually by cuttings grafting budding tissue culture etc the major apple producing countries are china usa turkey france germany italy poland russia and india in india apple is grown mainly in jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh and uttaranchal the jammu and kashmir state owing to its suitable climate contributes 60 to 65% of apple to the total produce of the country some of the major apple cultivars grown in india include red delicious royal delicious shimla delicious golden delicious ambri granny smith american trail etc the total area under apple cultivation in our country is 2.31 lakh hectare with a total production of 13.80 lakh tons and a productivity of 6.0 tons per hectare recently in 2010 the complete genome of apple has been decoded by italian led consortium in collaboration with horticulture genomists at washington state university using the golden delicious variety apple genome comprises of 57000 genes the highest number of any genome studied to date the understanding of apple genome will help scientists in identifying suitable genes for disease resistance and quality improvement besides unraveling the ancestry of domestic apple now first of all let us discuss origin of cultivated apple domestic apple malus domestica bark belongs to the family rosaceae and subfamily meloidae due to self incompatibility and occurrence of cross pollination in apple the seedlings raised from seeds are always interspecific hybrids such hybrids are established as commercial cultivars again producing seeds of interspecific origin this practice has continued since the time immemorial and hence the modern apple is thought to be a complex hybrid formed due to centuries of interspecific hybridization and hence the name malus domestica the cultivated apple is thought to have originated in caucasus mountains of central asia modern genetic studies suggest that malus siversi is the principal ancestor of the domestic apple other key ancestors of domestic apple are malus orientalis malus baketa malus pronifolia and malus silvestris the progenitor malus siversi is found growing wild in the mountains of central asia in southern kazakhstan kyrgyzstan and xinjiang province of china cultivation of this species probably began in Tian Shan mountains which progressed over a long time and permitted secondary introgression of genes from other species significant exchange with malus silvestris that is crab apple resulted in the present form of apple malus siversi is still found in diverse forms of shape color and taste in central asian belt which is believed to be the center of origin of apple now let us discuss biology of apple an apple tree is small deciduous and grows between 3 to 12 meter tall with a broad and densely twiggy crown the leaves are arranged alternately along the shoot simple oval 
5 to 12 cm long and 3 to 6 cm broad with acute tip and serrated margin on a 2 to 5 cm petiole. The blossoms are produced in the spring with the budding of leaves. The flowers with five petals are white with a pinkish tinge that gradually fades. The flowering starts in early spring that is March, April and fruit matures in autumn that is September, October. The fruit 5 to 9 centimeter diameter typically contains five carpels arranged in a five point star each carpel containing one to three seeds called pips. The main fruit shapes of apple are roundish, oblate, conical, oblong, oblique and acute. The core of the apple fruit is called carpel. Usually the core contains five carpels, each carpel with one to three seeds. The persistent sepals are commonly called eye of the apple. Economic importance. The whole apple fruit including the skin is suitable for human consumption except for the seed which are slightly poisonous. Apple varieties used for raw consumption are termed desert or table apples. Apple can also be processed into sauce, slices or juice. The apple juice can be consumed fresh or fermented into alcoholic beverages such as cider or wine or transformed into vinegar. Research suggests that apples may reduce the risk of colon cancer, prostate cancer and lung cancer. Apple peels are a source of various phytochemicals such as coverstein, epicatechin and procyanidin with unknown nutritional value. An apple a day keeps the doctor away is a favorite aphorism that fits well for this fruit keeping in view its commercial importance. Let us discuss some pests and diseases in apple. Apple trees are susceptible to a number of fungal and bacterial diseases and insect pests. Some of the major diseases of apple are apple scab, fire blight, fruit rot, crown rot, powdery mildew. Similarly, the insect pests of apple are aphids and moths. Number 1 Apple Scab Apple scab is caused by the fungus Venturia inequalis. Apple scab is separated through the fungus growing on old apple leaves on the ground during warm spring weather. Symptoms usually start on the undersides of the leaves with the appearance of small irregular lesions that are light brown to olive green in color which eventually turn dark brown to black. Severe infection may lead to early leaf and fruit drop. Scab on the fruit appears as nearly circular, velvety, dark green lesions. The skin of the apple near the infected area ruptures finally. Scab infections can be controlled by destroying all infected leaves, flowers and fruits as soon as possible. The battle against scab is won or lost from bud break to fruit set when actually scab gets started. A periodical fungicide application is also recommended to control the scab infection. Number 2 is fire blight. Fire blight is a devastating disease caused by the bacterium Erivenia amylovora and is very difficult to control. The disease develops rapidly in early spring during rainy weather when apple trees are in bloom. Blossoms and young leafy twigs show the first symptoms appearing wilted or shriveled and turning brown to black. The tips of the young infected twigs wilt and dry forming a shepherd screw as the disease moves down the branch. During wet weather a milky like sticky liquid can be seen on the stems and branches. The disease can be controlled by removing all the infected tree parts and burning them. Avoid excessive nitrogen application. Application of copper hydroxide and copper sulphate can also prevent the disease. Number third is black rot. Black rot is caused by the fungus Physelospora obtuse. The disease begins on the leaf as a purple speck that enlarges into a brown or chocolate center. Heavily infected leaves drop from the tree with which weakens the tree and reduces flowering in the next year. 
Infected points begin with tiny red or purple spots which after few weeks enlarge resulting in alternate zones of black and brown. The rot eventually affects the entire fruit which wrinkles, mummifies and often remains attached to the tree. The disease is controlled by removing and discarding dead branches and infected fruit. The fungicide capton and thiophosphate methyl are effective if applied during early season. Powdery mildew Powdery mildew is caused by Podosphera leukotrica and is one of the most important diseases of apple, especially in humid climates. Although it usually does not damage the fruit to any extent, but it weakens the tree and can kill seedlings, especially in nurseries. The disease attacks the foliage and young shoots. To control the disease, the infected plant parts are removed and destroyed. The infection can also be controlled by chemical sprays. Crown rot. This disease is caused mainly by the fungus Phytophthora cactorum. Zoo spores in the soil infect the bark of the tree at or near ground level. The disease is capable of killing quite large trees by girdling the main stem, especially in poorly drained areas. It is possible to avoid infection of the cyan by grafting about 20 to 30 centimeter above soil level. Next is aphids. The woolly apple aphid feeds on the bark of the small twigs and the roots of apple tree, whereas leaf pests include Aphis pomai and Aphis spiricola. Aphids can be controlled simply by heavy water spray. Next is mites. Two supported spider mites, Tetramycus urtica and European red mite Pononychus alnai are serious pests of apple. Severe infection can reduce the quality of the crop and flower bud initiation. Two supported spider mites spend the winter as mature females hiding on the ground near the tree. In the spring, they begin feeding on the vegetation under the tree. Later, they move up into the tree and begin to feed on the apple leaves. European red mites, on the other hand, spend the winter in the egg stage. The eggs are laid on the tip of the twigs around the rough bud scars. If the number is high, the twigs will have a reddish appearance. Mites are generally controlled by chemical sprays. Now let us discuss about apple root stalks. A root stalk is a rooted part of a plant onto which a cutting or a bud called cyan from another plant is grafted. The root stalk is a crucial part of the apple tree as it determines the tree shape, fruit quality and even disease resistance or susceptibility of the newly grafted cultivar. In general, root stalks are of two types that is seedling root stalk and colonial root stalks. The seedling root stalks are raised from seeds of crab apple that is Malus baketa, red delicious, maharaji, granny semith, macintosh and red gold etc. Although seedling root stalks have the disadvantage that no two individuals are identical in genetic makeup, but still there are several advantages of using them. For example, seedling root stalks are well spread and capable of growing deep into the soil. They provide excellent anchorage to the tree which in turn can withstand strong winds and heavy snowfall or crop load. Seedling rootstock can withstand drought better than colonial rootstocks. Seedling rootstock are most commonly and widely used rootstocks in India. Now colonial rootstocks. Colonial rootstocks can be propagated vegetatively by techniques like layering, root cuttings, branch cuttings and tissue culture. Most modern colonial root stocks were developed by East Marling Research Station in England known as M series which are being used all over the world. Later the MM series that is Marling Merton series was created in Merton through cross breeding. The most important colonial root stocks are M9, M26, M27, MM109, MM110 etc. 
The root stocks of apple are grafted with desirable cyan variety during February March every year. The cyan wood from mother plant should be collected from one year old shoot of bearing trees only. Cyan sticks should have only vegetative buds and not the reproductive buds. Grafting should be done just before the bud break. It takes around 3 to 5 years or more for a grafted cultivar to bear fruits depending on the type of rootstock and the cyan cultivar. Cultivation practices in apple. First of all, climate and soil. Most of the apple varieties require 800 to 1500 hours of chilling temperature that is below 7 degree centigrade during winter for successful bud breaking in the spring. The average summer temperature for apple growth should be 21 to 24 degree centigrade. The optimal temperature for pollen germination and fruit setting is 21 to 26 degree centigrade. Apple can grow in wide range of soil types. However, the best soil texture type is from sandy loam to sandy clay loam. The acceptable soil pH for apple growth is between 5.8 to 6.5. Next is planting. Apple trees are planted generally in February-March each year. Apple cultivars grafted on a seedling rootstock are planted at a distance of 6 to 7 meter, whereas comparatively less planting distance is required for colonial root stock types. In recent years, high density planting has gained popularity in Indian orchards. High density planting is more efficient in terms of revenue generation. It is precautious, easily manageable, has higher yield potential with better quality of fruit and higher returns per unit area. For high density planting, M and MM type of root stocks are used. Next is pollination. Since most of the commercial apple cultivars are self-incompatible, they do not set fruit if planted alone or with certain incompatible varieties. Therefore, there must be adequate number of pollinizer varieties in the orchard in order to effect successful pollination and fruit set. The most commonly used pollinizer varieties are golden delicious, red gold, jona gold, etc. During flowering time, apple growers often use pollinators like honeybees, mason bees and bumblebees to carry pollen and effect pollination. Next is harvest and storage. Depending on the tree density, mature apple trees bear 40 to 200 kg of fruit each year. However, trees grafted on dwarfing rootstocks will bear about 10 to 80 kg of fruit each year. Majority of the apple cultivars are harvested 5 to 6 months after flowering using 3 point ladders that are designed to fit amongst branches. Early harvesting varieties that is summer harvesting varieties include Gala, Macintosh, Hazrat Bali, Golden, Supreme etc. Mid harvesting varieties that is fall producers include Fuji, Jonah Gold, Red Delicious, Golden Delicious etc. Whereas late harvesting varieties that is winter harvesting cultivars are Grainy Smith, Amri, Maharaji, King etc. Next is pruning. Pruning in apple is essential to maintain a proper balance between vegetative growth and super development. During pruning, the crowding branches are removed and remaining branches thinned, leaving the vigorous fruiting branches well spaced on the main branches. Manuring and fertilization. Application of manure and fertilizer depends upon the soil fertility, type of soil, age of trees, crop load and climate. The standard application of NPK that is nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium is in the ratio of 70 is to 35 is to 70 per year age of the tree. For example, for a 10 year old tree, the NPK application would be 700 is to 350 is to 700 gram NPK per tree. Then irrigation. Apple requires uniform distribution of rainfall throughout the year. In general, apple requires 114 centimeter water during the growing season. Major part of 
this requirement comes through natural rains whereas rest is supplied through irrigation at intervals with the introduction of drip irrigation system apple cultivation is now possible at drier areas and hilly slopes also about 1695 liters of water per tree is required during the season in drip irrigation system compared with 3840 liters per tree in the conventional method of irrigation then grading and packaging apples are graded according to fruit size and fruit quality on the basis of fruit size color shape quality and appearance apples are graded as a a a a a a b and c apples are then packed in suitable wooden or corrugated fiber board boxes each box may carry about 10 to 20 kg of fruit then fruit drop most of the commercial varieties experience three phases of fruit drop that is early drop june drop and pre harvest drop the early drop is a natural phenomenon and occurs due to fruit competition and lack of pollination the june drop is caused by moisture stress whereas the pre harvest drop occurs due to depletion in oxygen levels or increase in ethylene levels in the fruit application of oxygen that is naa before the expected fruit drop or 20 to 25 days before harvesting prevents fruit drop effectively let's discuss some of the commercially successful apple varieties an ideal apple cultivar should have some important characteristics number 1 the cultivar should be a regular and good bearer number 2 it should be precautious in bearing for example super type cultivars of delicious group number 3 the cultivar should produce quality fruits of uniform size good color and taste if possible it should be disease resistant it should have good keeping quality in past several years the delicious group has dominated the apple growing regions of india with 80% 45% and 30% of total area under delicious apple in the states of himachal pradesh jammu and kashmir and uttaranchal respectively however recently there has been a dramatic shift from delicious group to improved super types and standard color mutants in these states some of these promising mutants include star crimson oregon super red chief venus delicious top red etc now let us discuss some of the important cultivars number 1 is red delicious delicious originated as a chance seedling in the field of jesse hayet of usa in 1872 who named it as cultivar hokai the plant was then renamed by star brother nurseries as delicious and introduced it commercially in 1895 in its various forms delicious has become the world's most important cultivar and is also dominant cultivar in india the trees are moderately vigorous upright spreading and bearing is primarily on spurs fruit is large sized and oblong conical in shape primarily ribbed ground color is greenish yellow with red streaks fruit flesh is creamish juicy aromatic and sweet in taste fruits can be stored for 3 to 4 months flowering occurs in last week of march or early april and maturity in august september chilling requirements are 800 to 1200 are approximately delicious is susceptible to apple scab resistant to powdery mildew and highly resistant to fire blight it is also very prone to red mite infestation around 100 strains of delicious apple exist at present these citrines originated as a spontaneous mutations that is bud spots in commercial orchards examples are rica red delicious star crimson delicious royal red oregon super morgan super top red scarlet super red chief venus delicious these mutant citrines are same as red delicious except some differences with respect to color resetting and production Number 2nd is golden delicious a chance seedling known as mulinus yellow seedling was found by A H Mulinus of 
کلے کاؤنٹی ویسٹ ورجینیا یو ایس اے ان ایٹین نائنٹیز ان نائنٹین ہنڈریڈ فورٹین پروپگیشن رائٹس وائر سول ٹو سٹارک برادر نرسری ہو انٹروڈیوسڈ دا کلٹیوار ایز گولڈن ڈیلیشس گولڈن ڈیلیشس از دا موسٹ امپورٹنٹ یلو ایپل ان دا ورلڈ اینڈ از اونلی سیکنڈ ٹو ریڈ ڈیلیشس ان ورلڈ پروڈکشن اٹ از ویری پاپولر کلٹیوار ان یورپ اینڈ یو ایس اے ان انڈیا اٹ از کمرشلی یوزڈ ایز اے پالینائزر فار ڈیلیشس ایپل ٹریز آر ماڈریٹلی ویگرس سپریڈنگ سپر ویری فریلی اینڈ بیئرنگ از آن ون ایئر اولڈ ووڈ ٹرمینلز اینڈ سپرز فروٹ از میڈیم ٹو لارج راؤنڈ کونک ٹو اوبلانگ ریبڈ آن باڈی اینڈ ڈسٹنکٹلی فائیو کراؤنڈ ایٹ ایپیکس گراؤنڈ کلر از ڈل گرینش یلو بیکمنگ اورینج یلو ایٹ میچورٹی فروٹ فلش از کریم فرم کرسپ اینڈ جوسی فروٹس آر سویٹ سلائٹلی ایسڈک آلسو گولڈن ڈیلیشس از ویری سیوسیپٹیبل ٹو ایپل سکیب پاؤڈری ملڈیو سیڈر ایپل رسٹ اینڈ ماڈریٹلی ریزسٹنٹ ٹو فائر بلائٹ اٹ از آلسو سیوسیپٹیبل ٹو فروٹ راٹ اینڈ ایپل موزیک وائرس سیورل سپونٹینیس میوٹنٹ فارمز دیٹ از بڈ سپاٹس آف گولڈن ڈیلیشس ایگزسٹ ایگزامپلز آر گولڈن گلوری گولڈ سپر ڈیلیشس بیل گولڈن سٹارک سپر گولڈن ڈیلیشس ایٹسیٹرا Third is Pheuji. Pheuji is the offspring of Rawls Janet into delicious cross made in 1939. It was named Pheuji in 1962 by the Horticulture Research Station in Moraika, Japan. Pheuji is the most important apple in Japan and China and is a major cultivar in Korea, Brazil, Argentina and Australia. Trees are vigorous, spreading and willowy. It is tip bearer and flowers on one to two year old wood with strong tendency to bear biennially. Fruits are large in size, round conic to round oblate, ribbed on body. Ground color is pale yellow, green with red blush and darker strips. Fruit flesh is cream, crisp, firm and juicy. Fruit flavor is sweet, high in sugar and low in acidity. Fuji is highly prone to water core and sitem and cracking. It is highly susceptible to apple scab, alternaria and fire blight. It is moderately resistant to powdery mildew, cedar apple rust, quince rust, etc. Some color supports of Fuji include Benny Shogun, Tensai, Sun Fuji, Jubilee, Fuji, Yataka, etc. Next is Granny Simith. Granny Smith is a chance seedling discovered in 1860s in New South Wales, Australia, but it has only been commercialized in the world in 1950s. It is chiefly a southern hemisphere apple and is extensively cultivated in Australia, Argentina, Chile and New Zealand. Trees are moderately vigorous, upright spreading, super freely. Fruits are initially born on stem tips, but later also on laterals. primarily on 1 to 2 year old wood fruits are medium to large round to round conic in shape flattened at the base and apex ground color is bright green and fruit flesh is greenish white very firm juicy sub acidic and sweet it has a long keeping quality and due to low ethylene production granny smith is susceptible to apple scab powdery mildew fire blight It is resistant to cedar apple rust and quince rust. Some spontaneous mutants of Granny Smith include green super, early grains, etc. Next is Gala. Developed by J.H. Kidd, New Zealand, 1934, Gala is the offspring of a cross of Kidd's orange red into golden delicious. This cultivar was named Gala in 1962 and released for commercial planting in 1965. It is an important cultivar in New Zealand, Brazil, Argentina, Australia, USA and Europe. It is also grown in India. Trees are moderately vigorous, upright, spreading, heavily spurred. Fruits are small to medium, uniform, round conic to oblong conic or oblong with ribbing on body, distinctly five crowned at apex. Ground color is creamy yellow to golden yellow, often with red citrus. Flesh is pale yellow, juicy, firm, crisp, sweet and low acidic. 
Gala is highly susceptible to apple scab, fire blight and moderately susceptible to powdery mildew and cedar apple rust. It is highly resistant to alternaria blush. Gala is prone to producing red color spots which vary considerably in stability. Some important spots include Royal Gala, Imperial Gala, Gala Must, Scarlet Gala, etc. That is all about today's lecture. In this lecture, we have discussed various aspects of apple crop and its cultivation. Thank you very much.